Welcome to a short video on how to make a monogram in Lightburn. You've probably seen a lot of these around. They're quite a common uh, tool for personalizing products that you might be making. Um, people even make these as a downloadable um, files that you can use and personalize yourself. I'm going to show you how you can do this in Lightburn today pretty easily so first of all what we're going to do is just going to take our title here make that disappear cool oh good okay so going to start by selecting our text tool and we're going to select a really large font so i've got 200 points here and any true type font you can you can think of. I'm just selecting Poor Richard here because it's a clean font, and I'm just going to put in capital H, and I'm going to do that so I can then review the um, fonts that I'm going to be using to settle on. Uh, so I like for these fancy fonts here a really sort of fancy type of font. Um, you can use Old English, for example, uh, the one that I my go to is uh, this one here Ruritania um, which you can download I think I got this from the font uh, website there's some free fonts there heaps and heaps of really really cool fonts but any font that you want to use really is 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 fine so once I've got that here uh, I'm going to go to our rectangle tool and I'm going to draw across the uh, profile here our first our uh, text box that we're going to be using so got that there now whilst i've got that selected i'm going to go control d to duplicate and then holding down shift and left click i'm going to select the uh I'm make sure that goes on selection how many times we've done that before select the letter and then i'm going up to tools here and are coming down to weld shapes. So boom, got that done. And that's now welded. Okay, so I'm then gonna come and just on the inside of this rectangle that we duplicated, click so I've selected that. So then holding down control, and I'm gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna switch to line for this bit here so it's a little easier to see. You can see we've got the rectangle that we copied sitting on top of our design. I'm just going to come up to this top handle here, holding down control, just going to drag that down. And this is going to be essentially the line, the border that you're going to be using. Okay, so you can see that there. If I go back to fill, you can see how that's starting to look. Now we've still got these end lines here, which we don't want, kind of ruins the effect a bit. So we're going to get rid of those next. So going back to line, and we've still got our rectangle selected here. I'm going to come up to edit and go to convert to path. So I'm going to convert that to a path there. Okay. Now I'm going to left hold down left shift and then select our um, uh, pattern. Uh, you can see here with this sort of uh, dot dash dash line uh, or do, dash dot dot line, it means that it's a group. So I'm going to ungroup everything. Okay. So once we've got everything ungrouped, we can see that usual marquee effect there. Uh, we're going to go to this option here, which is our um, uh, our point uh, editing. Uh, in nodes editing um, file. Uh, so once I've got that uh, selected, I'm going to select both the inner, inner rectangle and our um, design. And whilst I'm hovering over the line here, I'm going to hit D for delete, D for delete again. So we've deleted both of the end cap lines. So one for the original design that we merged with the first rectangle and then the line for the second rectangle. I'm going to do the same here on this side as well. So just D and D and then we've got now no end cap lines. Now if I was to go, we'll just get out of that view there. 
go to line and fill, you can see we don't get the effect what we want because we've got an open shape here. So this line here actually is an open shape and it's not going to fill properly. So we need to close these end gaps here. So I'm going to go back to line, uh, come back to our node uh, selection tool. I'm going to select both um, our uh, line here and our, our um, shape here. And go back to the node editing tool, and this is this is uh, an important part here. So you can see we've got the marquee. You've got one line sort of going into this top line, and then you've got the marquee sort of leaving. So if you think of these sort of ants, like like there's little ants leaving a nest, what you're going to do on the one on the node that you've got the ants leaving, what I want you to do is hover over that node and hit I for insert. Okay, and then left click and then drag, and you can drag that created node to the other one, and boom, that's now joined this line with this line because these were two separate shapes, two separate lines before. Okay, so we're going to come across to the other side, and again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look for the one where the ants are leaving the node, so it's this one here. Go insert and drag up, and then let go. And boom. So this is now one contiguous shape. So if I come off of this here and select, uh, select this line, you can see this is now a contiguous outline. And when we finish, we'll, uh, we'll group everything together and you'll see how that looks when it's filled. So we're going to do the same thing here. Select both lines. Go to our node tool, look for where the ants are leaving. So I across, come across here. And again, leaving this one. So we're going to go I from here and down here. And boom, we've now got our contiguous lines. And that is almost it. So we're going to put us, click on our selection tool, select everything here, and we're going to go group everything together. Now when I go fill, look at that. You've now got your background here, and all you need to do is to put in some text down here. So we can just, just quickly do that here. And, you know, I think it looks good if you use sort of a, a fairly um, uh, plain-looking script, a strong script here. So uh, Palatin or Linotype, for example. I'll reduce that down to, say, 40. And uh, yeah, so we're going to just put in our typing here. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment or if you've got any tips or tricks yourself that you would like to um, share, leave a comment below. Have a great day.